My name is Mary Wiltz. I'm the curriculum coordinator for the Music and Fine Arts Department with the Anchorage School District. And we are here at the Anchorage Museum at Rasmussen Center hanging the ASD Youth Art Month show. Um, this is our 41st annual exhibit and we're so excited that the museum allows us to use this space to showcase our students' work. We have um, artwork from grades kindergarten all the way through senior high school. Um, we have a committee of workers who are at the elementary level and at the secondary level who work endless hours during the fall and early spring uh, to bring all of this together. Every teacher in the district is asked to look for great artwork during their teaching during that fall semester and those pieces are selected. We actually have work hanging at three locations. The museum is the main location that holds the bulk of our work. We also have a show that goes up on March the 8th at the Mall at Sears and then we will have a show hanging at the Eagle River Branch Library. So many of the elements and principles of design and art coordinate so nicely with language arts and with math. For example, you'll see art, artwork around the museum that shows symmetry or balance, and those of course are things that we talk about in math all the time, that both sides of the equation need to balance or be equal as well. Also, we talk a lot about patterning and texture. Those are things that we talk about also with writing groups. Um, we you know, focus on patterns like AB patterns and things like that in art. They also talk about those kinds of patterns in math and in language arts. We also try to really talk about creative expression, taking their work that step beyond where what else could you add to it. It's just like writing that really great story, you know, putting simple sentences, but then coming back and adding those wonderful descriptive terms and great adjectives that make writing better. The same holds true for art. So I have to tell a story about a second grade class I was teaching last week. And I starred the student who's having their work up in the museum. And another student popped up and he said, remember, mine was in the museum last year. And another student said, it was. And then he became this famous kid all of a sudden that his art had been in the museum. And it was super cool to have all of them so excited about the fact that there was their art was in the museum. and I. I really love that the show happens and that the kids get to come here and, and see, see their art in a place that has precedence over all the other spots where their art could be. You know, the school board has been really uh, focused on increasing test scores and really making sure that students uh, focus on math literacy. Um, one of the important things that Dr. Browder has said, the superintendent, is that students need to be in school. And I think one of the things that the arts do is help encourage students and engage students in school. Um, and as we know, if students are actually in school, then they have a tendency to actually learn while they're in school. And having electives, art classes, helps engage students, get them excited about being in school, which hopefully will help them stay in school, come to school more often, and actually be more engaged. Of course, there's many studies that talk about the importance of arts education and students um, uh, being happy, safe, uh, social emotional learning in school is very important and having an elective, having something that they choose and want to do uh, like arts education helps engage them a little bit more and try a little bit harder while they're in school and they've shown that students that are actually engaged in the arts um, do better in school both uh, academically but also socially and emotionally. This is a great way, I mean the arts are a way that students express themselves and it's very important to get that opportunity because if they don't, they're going to express themselves in different ways. And sometimes it's not always the safe way. Oh man, this is, I mean, you're in the museum. I mean, you know, and so many kids have never even been to the museum, but yet they know what a museum is. And they know the significance of having something that they've done in a museum. And I mean, just, just to have that, you know, opportunity for some of these students. Or even just, hey, your piece is being considered to be in a museum. Or, you know, you're going to be one of the highlight, you know, pieces at the Sears Mall or this for all the community to see. It's, it's fantastic. Student art is available at the Sears Mall until April 3rd and the Anchorage Museum and Chugiak Eagle River Library until April 7th.
I'm Jennifer Childress, and I'm a teacher at Diamond High School. I teach physics, and I'm involved in the engineering program here. And we are having Smart Girls Rock today. It is our third year of Smart Girls Rock. We've invited 45 freshmen and sophomore girls to attend the event. We also have 15 women engineers from the community coming to do a speed mentoring event. So the girls will um, interact with the engineers for about four minutes and then go from one to the next. They have a list of questions to ask them and talk to them about. The purpose of the event is to help these girls see that they could be an engineer. Often they come into um, engineering or classes thinking that they know what engineering is and they have a picture of maybe a civil engineer or a petroleum engineer and we'd like to open their eyes to the variety of engineering fields that are out there. We'd also like to make it so that they could see themselves as maybe one day being an engineer. So we have the speed mentoring, we do an icebreaker, we have some great snacks and food that would appeal to girls, and we try to make it an event that the girls can enjoy, they feel really positive about, and hopefully sort of change their mind about what engineering is. I'm Erica Jensen, and I'm a civil engineer at CRW Engineering. I do roads and trails and site development is my specialty, and I volunteered to do this because I really enjoy telling people about what I do and I, I love what I do and I want people to enjoy what they do and be passionate about it and I laugh because some of the questions the girls asked was did you always know you wanted to be an engineer and I did I always knew I wanted to be an engineer I really enjoyed my math and science classes but I have to laugh because I didn't realize until later that I had no idea what an engineer actually was I always wanted to be one but I actually I had no idea what it was so I'm really excited to be able to tell these girls what engineering actually is when they're still young and can make those decisions and say, I know I want to do this because I like this about this, not just because, hey, it sounds like a good career. And I, I think it's really cool that these girls are given the opportunity to learn and to actually talk to somebody who does this and who's been where they are and can tell them what it's about and where they can go with it. My name is Kayla Shack and I attend Diamond High School. I believe what they're doing here with this engineering program for the women is uh, pretty remarkable. I believe that women should always support each other in the engineering field and that it's pretty great that they can come here and teach us young women what they're learning and that I can look up to them. My favorite kind of engineering would probably be aeronautic, aeronautical engineering because I'm very interested in space and I love just learning new things and there's always something new to learn when you're learning about space. I learned later that people aren't always happy with their jobs and to me it's really important that you're passionate about what you do. I happen to be passionate about engineering and math and science and that really benefits me. Um, but if you're passionate about whatever it is, I think that that's the way to go. Um, because finding a career that you like I think is one of the most important things. If there's something you'd like to see on All Around ASD, we'd like to know. Please send us your suggestions and questions at asdtv at asdk12.org.